we are going to run both of these trucks in the snow for the first time. HBX 16890, HBX 16889A. Directly after that, we are going to show you a good method to keep these things going after they get wet, and help keep the bearings from rusting and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna show you on this truck my next method of beefing up the body shell and keeping the body shell reinforced. On this one, we're gonna use the same shoe goo that we used on the Piranha body, but we're gonna not use drywall tape. See if it holds up just as well because the drywall tape is the part that takes the longest. So if you're looking to skip that step because it's the longest, hardest, and most frustrating, we'll just see how this one holds up without the tape. It's already got some damage, so we'll do that at the end of this video as well. We have a lot of really cool upgrades planned for this truck, so keep an eye out for that. If you haven't seen it yet, we have a video on reinforcing this body right here and giving it a pretty good run for its money, so I definitely recommend you check that out if you're interested in how you can reinforce these bodies. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, there is. <laughs> You're snuck? Does that mean snow stuck? Yeah. So you need a little more.
Was it good? That was pretty good. All right, here's the best way to dry these things off after you run them through the water or the snow. Oh, is that not it? The best way is with an air compressor. This was a really cheap, like $40 one, and it really stinks, but that's the one I used. I've got a better one outside. Quick side note, these are actually some brand new XT60 connectors I put on because the original Dean's plugs like to break off pretty easily right at the connector. And since these battery trays are pretty small, I usually wrap a Velcro strap around the chassis brace so I can put larger batteries in. All right, so we're gonna take the air compressor blow gun and blow out all the snow, and then we're gonna dry it as good as we can everywhere else, but paying extra attention to anywhere where there's gonna be bearings. I'm going to spray a little WD-40 in where the wheel bearings would go and inside where the differential bearings would be. You really should take the wheels off so you can soak them even better. That'll help displace any residual water. It wouldn't be too bad an idea to spray in towards the pinions either. Try to hit all the bearings if possible with WD-40. If you run your RCs in the snow or water, that'll help keep them from rusting. All right, for the shoe goo, I'm gonna spray it down with some kind of multi-purpose cleaner. Most likely you can use brake parts cleaner, but I'm doing this inside and that makes a lot of fumes. Clean that up real good. And this one I'm going to try spreading around with gloves because I think the human hand is a wonderful tool for such things. So this is a much quicker method than using the drywall tape because the drywall tape on that slightly larger body did take a good hour and a half to do just the drywall tape part, let alone spread the, uh, the shoe goo over top of it afterwards. So this took me roughly 12 or 13 minutes to do, but I could tell it doesn't seem like it's going to stick quite as well. Uh, when rubbing my thumb over it, it would sometimes pull off where I had just put it down. But we will certainly see how it performs. Okay, and I was just able to push the body mount holes out with a screwdriver while it was still mostly wet. So we'll, again, we'll give this a few days to dry and then we will try it out. Plus, like I said, we have a lot of really cool upgrades planned for this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Thanks so much.